Hi, I want to talk to you real quick. This is an update to me installing the AC port plug on my van. If you're interested in installing an AC port plug, there's a couple things you need to understand. One, you need a 2 inch hole for most of these port plugs. How are you going to get a 2 inch hole if you don't want to spend $25 to $35 on a 2 inch drill bit? There's a couple ways you can do this. I've already talked about one. You can take a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and a hammer and just beat all the way around, literally, until you knock this whole piece out. Or, you can do it the easiest way, which you're still going to need your hammer and screwdriver, but it won't be as hard for you to do. And that's take a quarter inch drill bit and you drill holes as close to the edge as possible all the way around your two inch circle. Now this two inch circle is not going to come out. You can see here even though these are close together there's still going to be a little bit of metal here. Okay. Once you have that drilled right there at the edge now you have to excuse my drawing I am using a windows paint for this it's really hard to do but what you will have is small teeth right here hanging down between where your circles were now you take them teeth and you beat them upwards on the inside alright you don't want them just hanging straight down you want them facing inward now I'll show you here. This will be your vehicle wall. I use green because I have a green van. But, you know, it would be whatever color your vehicle is. These would be the small teeth that were between where you drilled. Now the reason I'm saying don't try to get those teeth out. There's a reason I'm saying this. Beat them inward. They don't have to be perfectly flat. You know, you, you actually want them angled down just a hair. You don't want them flat or facing straight out. Now, there's a reason for this. When you put your AC port plug in here, that's going to be extremely tight. And you push that thing in. Make sure you have your silicone on and your screws ready to go. When you push that in, these teeth are going to slide up on the plastic. So when you have your port plug pushed in, the plastic's going to be here, and these teeth will dig into the plastic and make sure it does not work out. That will be extra security for your port plug. So you will not only have the screws going into your port plug, but you will have these little bitty teeth dug in and keep your port plug from working loose. Now remember, a quarter inch drill bit or any size drill bit really, just get as close to the edge of where you need to drill out as possible and as close together as possible. And like I said, you will have little bitty pieces of metal keeping these two sections here and here together, here and here, like right here in the middle, right there. That would be a small piece of metal. Then you just take your hammer and screwdriver and pop each one of these pieces of metal and then beat those up. Beat those teeth up so they look about like this. Alright, this would be a lot easier for most people to do than just go ahead and beating on their vehicle with a screwdriver and a hammer to get the hammer, uh, uh, not hammer, but the screwdriver to go through the metal. If you drill holes through your metal first, and then beat through it that screwdriver will go right through because this metal is going to be so thin now this will take quite a while to go all the way around your two inch hole but once you do one it'll be a lot less harder on you and two it will leave those little teeth once you beat them little teeth inward and this would be then towards the inside of your vehicle here once you beat them inward and you stick that port plug there and you crank that port plug down, these teeth will dig in to help keep it from coming out. Alright, this is a much easier way to install the AC port plug if you don't want to spend $25, $35 on a 2 inch drill bit. 
Now, buying a wood drill bit for two inch that you use for installing like a, um, a doorknob is not going to drill through that metal. Any cheap drill bit is not going to drill through that metal. So, if, if you're real limited on funds, but you can get your hands on something like a quarter inch drill bit, where you can just drill a bunch of holes there, and then just knock that center piece out. So basically, the whole center piece right here, remember I am using Windows Paint, you have to excuse me. Um, basically, you know, you get the idea. This whole center piece would be knocked out, right? Well, right here. You know, but it, it would be way up here to where it's next to this, uh, your two inch mark. Uh, sorry about the lousy drawings here. Like I said, I am using Windows Paint and it, it really sucks using paint. But like I said, one of the easiest ways to get your two inch hole is to use a quarter inch drill bit. Go all the way around the inside of your hole as close to the edge as possible to your two inches. This would be two inches across from here to here, here to here. So it would be a two inch hole. Get as close to that edge as possible with your drill bit without going over, if possible. I mean, even if you go over a little bit, it wouldn't be a big deal because you will have silicone on here, hopefully. But once you get all these holes drilled out, right there, it will be so much easier to break through all these with just a hammer and screwdriver. And then you will have little teeth, bend those teeth inward. Even if you have to use your hammer, just bend them in. And you are more than welcome to paint these if you want to keep them from rusting. That's up to you. But that will 100% help keep your port plug in. Because te these teeth will dig into the plastic of the port plug. Basically, you know, I I'm fixing to go do something right here. This will be your port plug. The teeth would dig into the outer casing of the plug. Anyway, I'm fixing to go. This is a much easier way for most people that want to install a port plug but don't have $25, $35 to spend on a metal cutting 2 inch drill bit. A small drill bit, quarter inch or whatever, to make holes. And I, I figure a quarter inch drill bit would be pretty good, or a 916, something like that. Um, to make a lot of holes, and then you just take that whole center piece out, right there, would leave some teeth, and those teeth will help you, once they're beat inward, will help support your port plug from working out. And remember, you will also have screws on your port plug, like right in here somewhere and in, in here so you will still have screws but these teeth will act as extra grip anyway that's it I'm fixing to go I apologize for the quality of the video and I apologize really super apologize for this drawing I know it's really bad but maybe this will help somebody out alright I'm fixing to go everyone have a good day bye